So I know recently, I'm going to address this a different way. I know recently y'all saw a little bit of commotion going on that was on Twitter and um, uh, in, uh, Instagram and all this stuff, you know. Now y'all know I've never went all out of my way. I've never disrespected Sydney Star. I've never, um, I've always supported her, all of the things, you feel me? Um, I've never spoke down on her. I've always spoken a place. Of, of of wishing that she you know got some type of guidance or whatever she's been on my show and and, and stuff like that I've never ever disrespected her um I want to clear up some things for one I was coming home from Austin Texas for all my Austin Texas people uh hey young smooth for all my Austin Texas people that were there y'all know I was in Austin Texas I was coming home from Austin Texas and 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 it, uh, me and G G G went on G uh, went home. I was in the back of my car coming home, laughing and talking with the driver in the car. I don't be thinking about anything that these hoes got going on in their life. I, I honestly really don't. And Maddie Ma, true Maddie Ma folks that, that fuck with me and follow me, y'all know that I don't be, if I only hit a bitch back, I never hit a bitch first. Y'all know this. I only hit back. Right? So I'm riding home, whatever. I get a text from Sydney, and Sydney says, I'm sitting across from this bitch, from this bitch, Tasha K. I'm finna cuss her out. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, I don't care whatever. I don't care whatever Tasha K got going on. Again, these hoes can wrap around a tree. Them, their families, all of them. Tree for me. That's the way I feel. It may sound harsh, whatever. I don't care about those people. So I'm like, okay, whatever. You know, who, you know, what, what, whatever, you know. I don't, okay. I said, I'm just, I'll am just. i be looking, you know, whatever, um, whatever little clips circulate around the internet, I'll look, you know. And then she FaceTimes me and she FaceTimes me with this lady in the in the background. Well, like, I guess she was sitting on the interview. Um, this dodo bird head ass bitch gets up and she starts screaming out about that. Oh, you told this girl not to come to my interview. I'm like, first of all, I don't know. I don't know who doing what. I'm getting money. Okay. I'm getting money, so I don't know who's doing what. Uh, I already posted the the, 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 the the tweets and shit like that. I tweeted it out on, on Twitter where the girl... And I hadn't talked to Sydney since we did that show over there with Megan James or whatever. You know, I wish everybody the best in whatever, they, whatever the right. fuck they got going on. You know. Now, I was saying in my brain, like... What what the fuck? Like I'm busy. Like what what are you you know? Like what you hit me about this hoe? Like I don't care what this hoe doing. So she Facetime me. So me and Tasha had a, a a very busy exchange over Facetime. Whatever she was recording it. Whatever like she do. That's that's the trash ass bitch that she is. <laughs> so she was recording it back and forth, back and forth. I never told that girl to leave that girl's interview because I didn't know that girl was even doing no motherfucking interview. I was coming home from getting money. So I didn't know that this girl was even doing no fucking interview for number one and two. I, number three, I don't give a fuck about Tasha K at all. D-I-E ho. I don't care anything about none of those people. Any bitch that's an op is graveyard dust to me. So what pissed me off about the whole situation, which was, which was in my brain, and I'm going to say this so that nobody has to take this nobody has to take pieces of this and and a bitch get my words misconstrued i was in my brain like nah if i beat her up if i beat sydney up because that's where i was at with it like bitch you don't put me in this bullshit on some y'all playing because i know y'all like to play those games y'all are y'all are zeus network girls we not the same caliber Y'all are Zeus Network girls that do all that stuff to do all to be trending about that. I don't even get in the paint. Like, and I was really contemplating my mind, like when I see her, I'm gonna beat her up. <laughs> so, so in my in my thing, you don't have to hear this from a third party. This is what your auntie was thinking about in her mind, like because you playing in my face, and I'm tired of hoes playing in my motherfucking face like that. Done came to my house, ate my food. Bitches that I don't that that I don't really have no no ill with no nothing like you a, you a chick with a dick I could stomp you and I've never in my in my whole existence of my career ever came for that girl I've never you you feel me like I've never been on the side of the street hating on her I never been sideline hating on her never I ain't never it's been it's never been none of that but I did wrestle with notions in my mind 
am I going to beat her up when I see her? I did notion this stuff in my mind. Am I going to run down on her when I see her? Those were thoughts that were going through my mind. My mom was over there like, boo. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't be over there, whatever, because I felt some type of way. It is not the fact that you over there sitting with this pussy ass hoe, because I don't care what y'all do. Yeah. It's the fact that you didn't clear it up that you called me. Made it seem like and you then you didn't even dispel and you didn't even fix the shit to be like Madison. Like Madison didn't call me to tell me to do the interview. I came over here to do the interview. You know what I'm saying? I came to I came to do the interview because I wanted to, you know, just to be just to be caught up in the, in the situation. You feel me? Like I didn't call. I don't think about what y'all doing. I see y'all on the vlog. I don't care. First of all, none of you girls command the bags that I command. You don't. You know what I'm saying? And so then I was like, this little young girl playing in my face. I ain't never been on no fuck shit with her. You feel me? When you're not even on live, or matter of fact, even when you are on live or not, they never even come up. Like um, nobody sits around and talks about no. Nope, and anybody. like, and I also was torn with the notion in my mind. Like I've been letting a lot of hoes play with me, and it's been a lot of hoes with pussies playing with me, so I can't really bang them. You feel me? But a bitch in my category, maybe I need to walk a bitch on live. You feel me? Maybe I need to walk a bitch live to let a pussy ass hoe know that bitch, I'm still from Dade County. I'm still from fucking Dade, bitch. And just because I don't wallow in the paint or I don't play that Zeus Network shit that y'all hoes play over there, bitch, that I'm, I'm about that Zeus Network motherfucking life. But then I retracted, I went down in my brain system and I said, Madison, you are rich. And you also so I don't so when you, whenever y'all pat put this shit out to the public, like I know y'all messy hoes do. Yes, I was contemplating on running down, whooping her ass, not fighting her because I was gonna put work on her. Cause it's like you need a you need a grown up ass whipping from a grown bitch that that don't play whole stroll games. Period. That y'all take my kindness for weakness because I don't really be you know attacking y'all. You feel me? So. I had a conversation with myself. I said, Madison, you rich. You have a lot of shit that you got going on. You got a lot of shit that's coming for you. You got a lot of shit that's, that's, that's already in the works that are, that are things that are going on that's on a whole, that's on a whole nother motherfucking level that you can't be out here in the paint putting knuckles on bitches that ain't got nothing to lose. That's true. Nah. I'm more bothered with the fact that not that that bitch sat down over there with that motherfucking hoe because they can do what they want to do. They grown. They're grown. They can do whatever it is that they want to do. I don't care who the fuck these people talk to. I'm talking about from the fact of why would you sit here and you allow this person to go forth in these things and tell them and, and not straighten like, no, she didn't call you. Because I seen all the YouTube folks taking that shit and running with it because, you know, they my name in the headline, they getting paid for a couple of days. So I'm like, uh, why wouldn't you fix that? Like, why wouldn't you be like, nah, she didn't call. Like, girl, you call, you call me and you FaceTime me on with this with this girl i didn't i don't care any i really want y'all to know them hoes be obsessed with me all those them hoes that got these real pussies these girls that got all these they can with, with these abilities to, to have periods these girls that have the ability to 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 have these kids that they, they, they screaming about they can show their man and all this stuff all the things they say they be obsessed because when we come on this show we talk about shit we laugh and joke we talk about what we had going on we don't be getting into none of that stuff with the with them people you feel me? Those people, th those people thrive off of that because clout is a hell of a motherfucking drug. And I just now, this is why when people say, well, she don't, I fight for my trans community from the side. You feel me? And I don't let myself get close to trans girls. I don't let myself get close to, you know, 
I just don't because it be shit like this that that unfolds, you know. It be stuff like this that unfolds. And I don't dislike that girl. I don't dislike Sydney at all. I just feel like Sydney is lost in the sauce with, with, with a few things. You feel me? And I really felt like I, that I really wish that I could have got a hold of her early. And I've said this before. Y'all could have found, y'all could find interviews of me talking about this. I wish I, I could have, like, when that first stuff first started coming out about her, that I could have been like, you know, say, hey, girl, let's mold you into, because you, you, you have this potential to be a huge, huge star. So let's mold you into the potential of having being a huge, huge star. Now we're down to, to this space right here. Maybe her intentions was to go over there and carry on with, with Tasha K and, and, and whatever it is that she was going to do with Tasha K, like, which I wouldn't have never cared about. My problem is you not, you not cleaning it up. Now, when we had that show here at my house, what I didn't tell y'all was that Felicity Noir drove all the way from downtown to jump on Sydney Star while we were doing this show when Sydney Star was here at the house. Oh, wow. And I said, and I and I begged Felicity Noir outside. I said, sister, please do not. She don't mean it. She's not really that type. Like this. she's just she's a fame girl. She likes fame. I said, please, whatever it is that's going on, I, I on her behalf. And now in my in my brain, I'm finding myself in my brain on that on that way on that thinking on that thought process that's that. Felicity was on because it's only so much because yeah. now it's like, girl, why would you play with your auntie like that? Why would you play with your auntie like that? Why would you play with a bitch that's, that's always been in the space of saying, girl, you know, you, you feel me? Yeah. Now, I don't dislike her, but I'm disappointed in, in that aspect of it because I know she's into that do shit that now it's TV, all of that. And I don't think that I'm above those girls, but they can't afford me. Let's be, let's be clear with that. I don't think that I'm above those people, but just know that we're not the same and they cannot afford me at all. So I'm just putting this out here so that nobody has to hear this from nobody else. It coming, it's coming from me that you don't, that you don't have to take this and, and, and duplicate my words. What if it's coming from me? And if you want to see it again, replay the motherfucking video and I'll tell you in your motherfucking face. Well, I won't tell you your face because I don't know how, I don't know how I am bubbly on the inside, like how I feel about it. Like, like, I don't know. Like I even had to t tell my kids, I had to tell my daughters, my daughters was calling me on the phone. Like mama, we want to stomp this hoe. And I'm study telling my kids like, girl, I don't think she meant nothing by it. I just feel like that she was, she, you know, she like that. She likes those viral moments and that messy shit, you know, but don't do me at the expense of that. Like, cause my kids was, was ready to motherfucking is ready still. And see what a lot of you hoes don't know. All I really got to do is whistle. Whistle. <laughs> whistle, bitch. But my kids was like, like, why are you, why this whole playing in your motherfucking face like this? And I'm very much so not a girl that even, as much as y'all think that I do, I'm very much so a girl that's not even a mingler. Like, I don't really mingle like that. Like, I'm very, you know, to the side with the shit. You feel me? I'm very, I don't even mingle like that. So... All this was for me was more so a lesson. And I've been thinking about changing my number for a long time because I've had my number for the past 25 years. I've, 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 you know, been thinking about changing my phone number, but I know I, I've had numbers. I have, I still have business dealings. You get what I'm saying? It's still some old trick ass niggas that motherfuckers send me cash, check, cash, zail me. So, so that's bitch, the only reason you don't want to. Yeah, bitch, I want, you know. <laughs> That and then I still have business that I have that I'm yes, I have kids. I have gay kids. Yes, I have kids. Yes, I have children. I have a gay family. <laughs> and most of my gay family are butch queens and thugs. <laughs> are butch queens and thugs, bitch. And I don't want y'all to ever get it twisted. Like I'm not like I'm some puss ass hoe that's like a bitch gonna run up on me and I'm, I'm gonna run up on me and I'm gonna get done up. Because that's not how that's going to happen. Bitch, I am the queen. Okay? 
I am the queen, bitch. So, I want to make this statement. I don't have ill feelings towards Sydney Star. I don't dislike Sydney Star. I'm disappointed. I did have thoughts of motherfucking stomping her out. I did. And then I retracted those thoughts in the fact of, man, said, what is it? What will it accomplish? Right. You know, the girl's still lost. And not that she's still lost. It's just the fact that you want, you actually really still want to see her achieve. You want to still see her thrive because she is a trans person, you know? But don't put me in that. Don't have me messed up into that motherfucking shit. Like, if, if y'all hoes on that on that Tasha K shit and y'all hoes on that messy shit and y'all on that Zeus network, now it's TV, y'all hoes want to win me and fight and do all that type of stuff. I'm not on that. I'm not on it. That's not what I'm on. I'm going to read me a bitch and go about, my, go about my motherfucking business. Now, you've heard this come out of my mouth, and you've heard me say this out of my mouth. Now, if you if y'all fold it up in the envelope and take it some other kind of way, I'm, I'm with it. That's on y'all. I'm with all of it. Okay? I, I, I'm just letting you know straight up. I'm with it. That goes for, for, for their friends and whatever. We with it. Because I'm always having to get in a space where I have to defend myself for some fuck shit that don't even be really having, to, having nothing to do with me. Or a lie. Or a lie. Like, you could have just dispelled the lie. And been like, you mad been like, girl, that girl didn't call me and tell me to leave the show. That girl ain't called me and tell me to leave your show. I called that girl. I fa that girl was coming home from motherfucking work. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. I don't give a fuck about Tasha K. Die. And you heard me say this 15 times, which I don't give a fuck about that hoe. But when it comes down to stuff like this, like with this stuff with one of my nieces and shit like this, like, like, girl, I, 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 and now I'm most definitely like, that's the last time that you, that you're really ever going to speak to me. Like ever. I don't care if she was paid or not, Eon Lighthouse. I don't care if she was paid or not. I did what, what needs to have been said Is the truth. was the truth. And the truth was, I did not call that girl to try to stop her from doing anything because I don't care about Tasha K on no level like that. I care nothing about Tasha K or who she's interviewing or what the fuck she was doing. You don't even like talking about it, to be honest with you. It, all that shit I saw <laughs> yesterday with her with the motherfucking kitten heels on <laughs> out there trying to get a Zeus Network deal. <laughs> I didn't tweet about it. I didn't motherfucking doubt about it. But this is, this is for me, this is most definitely probably the last time that I'm going to even speak in that girl's direction. Like, Sydney Star. I'm not, I, I don't got no, I, listen, niece, because I know they're going to run you this. We don't got no beef. We don't have no pressure. Do what you want to do. I wish you well. But I'm adding these names to my contract. OK, and when I add these names to my country, I've done this before. I did it to cookie. I did it with cookie Tookie. I did Samantha J. Cookie took. I did it with that girl. I put them in a contract like, hey, I don't want to be booked with these people. I don't want to be in the same vicinity with these people. I don't want to have anything to do with them because I'm not on that messy shit and I'm not with it. Because I already know me. I'm not that I'm not the soft bitch that y'all think that I really am. I'm not. I'm very dangerous. Just professional. Just professional. I just have lots of things to lose. So bless her heart. We wish her the best. We wish her. We wish her the best. We wish her whatever it is in her endeavors or whatever. We don't have no ill. We won't. We will never speak ill about her. We'll never speak ill to her. We'll go on about our best, but we will not share same. We will not share the same space. And that goes for television. 
bookings, all of it. And I mean that from the depths of my soul. I mean that. That is it. That is all. So, Maddie Mob, we out the door with that. I wish her well. But it wouldn't have took but a second to fix a lie. That's true. It wouldn't have taken a second to fix a lie. Because that was a whole motherfucking lie. It was just to make, you know, a viral moment for them to profit off of. That's all that was. No excuse, though, but that's what that's really what it was about. You only it only took a moment to fix a lie. Nah, girl, I ain't that that ain't true. I call her. You know, I call her, girl. You know, that's what happened. We wish you greatness on your journey. But we won't be on our journeys together. Now, let's move on. <laughs> 